Hello guys, uh, welcome to ASP screencast on lung volumes. Um, so if you have sort of a quick look up then, so what we're going to have a look at is we have to know the relationship between um, resting values for the following three terms, breathing frequency, um, tidal volume and minute ventilation. So basically those three things we need to be able to define them, we have to give a um, resting value for them with a real focus on those kind of uh, units of measurement there. Okay, then we have to know how these three um, can basically be used as a calculation so we'd be able to apply those to a graph in the lesson this will be your screencast info in the lesson we'll be having a look at the effect of different intensities of exercise on the three terms aforementioned here okay so if I just go on to your um, first key bits then definitions and key focuses key lung volumes then breathing frequency and breathing frequency um, basically refers to number of breaths taken per minute um, average value for an untrained athlete would be uh, 12 breaths per minute okay to get it mixed up with beats per minute so breaths per minute then we're going down to tidal volume um, tidal volume if you think now um, you're looking back to where the stroke volume and the volume of blood ejected from the heart per beat now what we've got is tidal volume which talks about the volume of air really important here air inspired or expired per breath now that is a singular so we've got that on there average value for this would be 500 milliliters Going on then, the final key term is minute ventilation. As this is the kind of um, the volume of air inspired and expired per minute. Now, because this is the kind of the minute ventilation, it's the overall ventilation. This is the is the kind of key thing that's going to be in um, graphs. It's the thing that's depicted in a graph, and it's the thing you're going to have to be able to describe um, if you see an interpretation graph-based question. Okay, right, going on from here then, equation. So this is the key thing. So basically we need to know that minute ventilation equals breathing frequency times tidal volume. So going down to here then, so I'll put that on there. Minute ventilation is a combination of tidal volume times breathing frequency. So you can just make sure you've got this in. 500 milliliters times 12 beats per minute equals 6,000 milliliters. But what we really need to do is to change that into six liters, okay? per minute because it's per minute so make sure we've got that in that's your key thing what we're going to have a look at is what happens when you start to exercise what happens to all these things and i'm pretty sure you can understand it's going to increase increase which then leads to this increase and we need to make sure we've got the values and work out how we're doing it okay thank you very much